Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I have something very exciting that I've been working on for a long time and I can't wait to show you. Let me give you a little backstory. For as long as I can remember, I have a hard time taking a small design, a sample of something, and getting the full picture of what it could potentially be. When we were in college, Ellie brought home a fabric sample of a couch, and I had no idea what the couch would actually look like until we got it delivered to our house. I hated the sample, but I loved the couch. And the same thing kind of goes with house designs. I didn't know if I would love the house until I saw the actual exterior of it. And if you don't remember what that looks like, it looks like this. But what about the inside of the house, where we're actually going to live? What is that gonna look like? I wanted to take things a step further than just the exterior of the house, and I wanted to design the interior of the house and give you guys a virtual tour of the house before it is even built. So let's go inside and take a virtual tour. What do you guys think so far? You know, the thing about building a virtual house is not everything is going to be the exact same as you see here. Things might change, but I'm a visual person and I wanted to build the virtual house to get an idea of what the house would feel like, what it would look like before we even moved in. So let's take a look. Let's go ahead and take a look at the house and see what everything looks like. Follow me this way and we'll take a look at the living room, dining room, kitchen area first, but just a sneak peek. in this hallway, we wanted to have a special place for grandma and grandpa. So if you come this way, we have the grandparents suite. The first door on your left is the bathroom. Go ahead and start in there. This is the grandparents bathroom or guest bathroom. So that makes this the grandparents' bedroom or guest bedroom. The thing that I love most about this bedroom is the vaulted ceilings. This room feels big, it's perfect for the grandparents. This hallway will take you to our bedroom. Just like the guest room, this room has big windows which we're going to love to see into the backyard.
you guys know me, you know I love the shower. Right now we only have one shower head, but let's see if that changes in the final build. I know, I know, there's not a half wall. Don't worry, that'll change. Go ahead and take a peek in the closet. A lot of you guys are gonna give me a little grief about the shower, how many shower heads there are, and not having a half wall in the bathroom. But we're not done yet, right? This is a virtual build. In our last house, the living room felt magical. It was where we hosted and had gatherings, and we wanted that to feel exactly the same way as we did in our first house. So if you can see, it looks very similar to that. But one thing that's different is our exit to the backyard is a little bit different. I wanna show you that now. This is our dining nook. And last time we had a door hit the table all of the time. Luckily, our door's not here anymore. It's in a different place. It is this big glass slider. So not only is this windows, it's a big glass slider. So we can open it up and feel a part of the outside as well. The other exit to the house is through our mudroom. mudroom and it's nice because it has lockers and a drop zone and it has the exit and entrance from the outside but I love the bathroom right next to it you'll see a shower and a stackable washer and dryer The last part of the house is my favorite part of the house. Follow me this way. a second entrance to the house, but in here is Ellie's room that she's going to be loving and designing herself. I think our favorite thing about this room is the big window that looks out to the front yard. not 
least my office. Go ahead and take a look. It's my favorite room in the house. That was a virtual tour of the first level of our house. I know I didn't do the second floor. It took 80 hours to render this thing, let alone build it. You gotta cut me a little bit of slack. Maybe we'll do the upstairs if you guys like this video enough. So let me know, was this worth it? Was it cool to get a good idea of what the house looks like? Well, that's the question, isn't it? Was this worth it? I've been working on this video for, gosh, more than two months now. And I'm sure a lot of you are wondering, Jared, how the heck did you do this? And as I finished editing the video, it didn't look exactly the way that I wanted it to be. I wanted it to look as real as possible. And the rendering of the house looks real, and obviously I'm real, but there could have been better work done. But in my opinion, done can sometimes be better than perfect. So the video is done, but what did I do to make it happen? Well, first of all, I have the house rendering in SketchUp from the very first time the house came out of the ground. I had the exterior of the house. And then I also had the house plans where the walls are and everything. So I took that SketchUp file and I made the house and I drew the walls and everything. And then I put in furniture. I put in the couch, I put in the artwork, I put in the lights, and then I took it into another program. Initially started with Unreal Engine and did some work there, but I actually took the SketchUp file because it works directly with another application called Lumion. And that's how I was able to light it really well and do the actual movement of the walkthrough. And then I filmed myself on the property walking through the concrete and then I took it into After Effects and tried cutting myself out of every single frame. That took so much work. And honestly, if I could have spent more time on it, it would have looked a lot better. There's an application that I also found called Runway ML that will do AI cutouts like that. So that helped a lot, but it wasn't as clean as I wanted it to be. So there's a lot of artifacts and everything that go around my body when I'm walking through the house. But I couldn't get it the way that I wanted it to before my personal deadline, which is today. This took a long time. Rendering that video, like I said, took 80 hours just by itself. Building it alone, like building it from the ground up, took two months. Was it worth it? I don't know. <laughs> I learned a lot. I learned new programs. I had so much fun doing this. So in that sense, absolutely it was worth it. I got to see the house before it was even framed. But the question is then, did you guys enjoy it? Let me know. If you did enjoy it, give it a big thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you guys in our next video. Bye-bye.